Before I get to explaining how a fire extinguisher works, first, we have to understand what it does. And what it does is extinguish or put out fires. But what causes a fire in the first place? Meaning, what conditions are necessary to produce a fire? Now this is a chemistry class, and in chemistry we refer to these reactions that produce enough heat to produce a flame as combustion reactions. Now a combustion reaction requires a few things to happen. It requires fuel, and that fuel could be from paper, trees, or gasoline to name a few. We also require oxygen, and most of the time that oxygen comes from the surroundings in our air. And we need some sort of ignition to get the temperature high enough for the reaction to occur and that could be in a form of a flame or a spark. Now that we know what is needed for a fire, we also have a better understanding of what we can do to control these fires. So let's talk about fire extinguishers. Now, a way that the fire extinguisher works is within it, it has a compressed gas. Sometimes, within these compressed gases, there are other materials that help propel the fire. Now, if you think about it, things the fire needs, it needs enough heat and it needs enough oxygen. If we cut off one of these supplies, that is, if you lower the heat or cut off the oxygen supply, you can put out the fire, and that is the basic premise to how a fire extinguisher works. The inside of a fire extinguisher is kind of like a giant aerosol can filled with two different substances. One of them is a solid liquid or gas substance for fighting the fire, and the other one is a propellant, and is a pressurized chemical that makes the fire fighting substance come out when you press the extinguisher handle. Fire extinguishers are really strong steel canisters because the propellant is stored inside at a high pressure. Water extinguishers, which are the most common, are essentially tanks full of water with compressed air as the propellant. Water extinguishers work by removing the heat from the fire. The dry chemical extinguishers are tanks of foam or dry powder with compressed nitrogen as their propellant. They work by smothering the fire as you put a layer of powder or foam on the fire. You cut the fuel off from the oxygen around it and the fire goes out. Carbon dioxide extinguishers contain a mixture of liquid and gaseous forms of carbon dioxide. As it's normally a gas at room temperature and pressure, CO2 has to be stored under high pressure to make it a liquid. When you release the pressure, the gas expands enormously and cools to make a huge white jet. The CO2 smothers the oxygen and because it's so cold, it also removes the heat from the fire. Fire extinguishers can also contain baking soda. This chemical works because it decomposes as it heats up. Baking soda creates carbon dioxide and water. The CO2 will cut off the oxygen and the H2O will reduce the temperature. To operate the extinguisher using the pass technique to control and extinguish the fire. First, hold the extinguisher upright and pull the pin. Next, stand 8 to 10 feet from the fire and aim the nozzle at the base of the fire. Do not get too close or aim the nozzle too high. Once the nozzle is aimed at the base of the fire, squeeze the levers together to begin discharge of the fire extinguishing agent. Maintain your distance from the fire and sweep the nozzle from side to side, sweeping 3 to 6 inches beyond the right and left edges of the fire. Discharge the extinguisher until contents are exhausted to prevent reignition. Move around the fire to confirm it is completely extinguished. A fire extinguisher is one of those things that sits on the wall gathering dust until the moment you need it, and then it's absolutely the coolest thing in the world. Let's take this one out in the yard and see how it works. Fire needs three things to exist. Fuel, oxygen, and heat. If you take one of these away, the fire goes out. Here's a household flammable liquid. If you heat it up, it can burst into flames. This is a common cause of house fires. Fortunately, we're out in the yard. If you have a fire extinguisher handy, you just pull the pin and put it out. The best way to put out a fire is to aim directly at the fuel rather than the flames and move the stream with a sweeping motion. So that's how a fire extinguisher works. 